Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you watched my last video, you will see that in my haul, I went and bought fake tan. And I have literally just taken all my makeup off, gone for a shower, exfoliated my whole skin and moisturized after. And now all the moisture has gone. So now it is time to fake tan. I've never done a fake tan ever. I just thought that I need to not be so pale. Like my face is so pale. And I'm actually really curious to see what happens with like my acne scars when I fake tan. Like do you think they will blend out or do you think they'll just be a little bit more do you think they stand out a bit more? Dunno. But the reason why that I'm wanting to fake tan is because I'm just very curious of what would I look like being mixed race if I fake tanned. Because my skin, especially my face, mainly my face, is very blue toned, apparently. So I thought that, like, and I also get like very um, pale when it's winter. I look like the colour is just flushed out of me and I look ill or I look tired, like I do right now. So I wanted to see what it would look like if I actually fake tanned and why not? let's just experiment like i said i've got them ready i've just got like um an old vest top and shorts on but obviously i'm going to take them off to fake tan and i thought that we will fake tan this together before moral support because i need it it's gonna i hope this goes right it's gonna be interesting for work if it doesn't um so i bought obviously the exfoliator mitt which i've already used I got the Bondi Stan Self Tanning Foam in dark and I also bought the Bondi Sands um, application mitt. So I've watched videos of other people doing this so I'm hoping it works. So let's get into fake tanning. So the fake tan says step one for an even streak free tan ensure your skin is clean exfoliated and free of any moisture which I've already done and my moisture and my moisturizer is already all nice and dried in so it's absolutely fine. Step two pump foam applicator firmly and pump Bondi sand self tanning foam li liberally to a tanning mitt before using a long sweeping motion to legs, arms and body. Use remaining residue on tanning mitt of face, elbows and knees. Step 3. Skin may be washed off after 1 hour. For a longer lasting darker tan, leave foam on skin for up to 6 hours. Shower with warm water and gently pat dry. For the deepest tan, reapply Bondi Sand self tanning foam 30 minutes after initial application. So I'm thinking I may leave my fake town for like three hours is what i'm going for so i don't think i need that long like i'm already tanned like i've got a little bit of tan still from thailand but it's fading very quickly so i am lighter than this like oh my gosh i am so nervous so let's let's do it hello i do have my top on still i've just taken the sleeves down so i'm gonna do this part on camera and then I will show you obviously like doing my legs and everything and my face but other than that and then I think we'll probably like catch up in the morning also I'm so nervous so I'm right handed so I'm gonna do it here Woo so scared um so let's put some on Oh, there we go. Ready? Let's do our chest first. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it actually smells so good. Oh wow, Co coconut smell. I know, like everyone says this with Bondi Sands, like it smells so good, but. It actually really does. Oh, it's a little. So there's a glow going on already. Don't know how on earth I'm going to do my back, but 
we'll get there when we come to it. I really don't want to be streaky. I really hope I don't become streaky. Oh my god, I'm so scared. No backing out and out. I can't just have like a brown, darker chest. <laughs> Let's do our arms. Wow, ha! Huh? That dark, that was dark in person. Wow. Those and the knees that I'm really worried about. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at my face compared to my, oh, my body already. Like a floating Casper head. My gosh, I'm so scared to actually do it on my face, but I'm going to. Like, if you watched my last video, you'll see that I even bought like a darker foundation in case I did do my face, just to see. Because obviously, like my foundation, we don't want it to be like lighter than obviously what I'm doing, so I had to buy like a dark foundation. So we're gonna now move on to face. This bit I'm really, really scared about. So let's see. Already I can tell that like with these fresh scars, they have made them very dark. <laughs> I just, I look so weird seeing a bit more colour on my actual face than a minute ago. I have now faked hand everywhere and I smell very coconutty and I feel very sticky but we are going to leave this on for about, I'm going to give it two hours and then see how it is after two hours and then if not three hours. And then we will wash it off and I will check back in with you in the morning to see how it looks. It is very strange seeing my face brown like it's very strange seeing my face with a bit more color to it that's for sure but hopefully we did a good job and it's not streaky so i will see you in the morning good night good morning everyone so i have literally just woken up and i thought that i will show you what my tan looks like first thing in the morning before i actually start getting ready if you can see i've got some color and this is what my arms are looking like I have gone darker. In total, I think I left my tan on for four hours because I fell asleep. So then I woke up and I didn't really wanna start washing off the fake tan at half two in the morning, but I knew if I didn't, it would probably get very dark by the time that I woke up. Actually like happy with how it looks. I have noticed that the fake tan does make the acne scars darker instead of like it does make it darker so I thought I'll show you what it looks like now before I actually get ready and then I will check back in with you when I used the new foundation if this foundation is going to match this colour so I will check back in with you when I'm all ready later on Good morning everyone, so this is what the finished fake tan with makeup, I've got the darker foundation on. Let me know in the comments down below if you think fake tan suits me or if I should hit and miss because... Hmm. Alright, I've got to go to work now so I will see you in the next video. If you thought this video was good then please give it a thumbs up, that would be great because obviously my channel was very new. I'm going to be doing a giveaway when we hit 100 subscribers so make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on that little giveaway. So I hope to see you in the next video, bye.